Good afternoon, everyone. Welcome to the 2021 University of Winnipeg Open House and specifically to the Faculty of Education. My name is Dr. Laurieanne Helston and I'm the Dean here in the Faculty of Education. As part of my welcome, I'd like to recognize the first peoples on whose traditional ancestral territories we are currently living and working. Although sadly, we are not able to gather together today on the campus of the University of Winnipeg, we acknowledge that the University of Winnipeg is located in Treaty 1 territory and the homeland of the Métis Nation. I would like to also acknowledge that our water is sourced from Coal Lake 40 First Nation. So this is just a, a brief outline or an overview of some of the highlights we'd like to share with you today. Uh, fortunately, I will not be doing all of the talking. I'm going to get things started with an overview of our programs and some exciting international opportunities. I will then turn it over to our Associate Dean, Dr. Leslie Ebley Trudell, who will share some thoughts about teaching as a profession. Dr. Sherry Lynn Squarchuk will then describe the early childhood and developmental studies opportunities in our faculty. We will then hear from Megan Nenka, a current education student. And last but definitely not least, we will hear from our years one to three education advisor, Megan Michaluk, regarding faculty of education admission requirements. We should have some time for questions at the end, or feel free to uh, visit us in our virtual education booth following the presentation. Well, so who are we as a faculty of education? So you can see from some of those numbers, we're really not as small as some might think, but we are known for our small class sizes, our close connection between faculty and students, and attention. Sometimes we're asked whether teachers can find employment. Is teaching a career where you're gonna get a job? And the answer, recent answer at least from us is yes. So we had a recent uh, survey done and 98 students from our 2018 class of graduating teachers, they responded, that's about 40% of our graduating class and 91% of those uh, graduating reported currently being employed as a teacher. And by that we mean someone who is teaching on either a full-time basis, part-time term, or substitute. And in case you're skeptical, for comparison's sake, employment as a teacher in the preceding five years to that ranged between 87 and 94 percent. And again, about 40 percent of our graduates respond. What about the type of teacher? Well, for us, in two the three most common areas of teaching, and we call that a teaching major, were English, history, and biology. The three most common teaching minors were history, ecology, and math. What about our programs? You can see we have lots of information here. I'm going to focus mostly on our integrated program. High school students can apply directly out of high school, or you can transfer in after the first year of university up to about 42 credit hours. And you transfer, or that program would be our integrated program. What is an integrated program? It makes it possible for students to work towards two degrees, two degrees concurrently. So it's a five-year program. One year, or sorry, one benefit of the integrated program is participating in community or school practicums in each year. So in year one, you do a community practicum, and year two, you do a school. Another benefit is practical. The integrated program is our flagship program. And as such, we admit most of our B. Ed. students into this program. So if you're thinking about education as a career, want to be a teacher, think about applying to the integrated program. If you're successful and decide later on that maybe this isn't for you, you can always transfer out and your credits can be applied towards another degree. In contrast, the after degree program is like it sounds. Students complete either a BA or BSc first and then apply and come into our after degree program. What about practicums? Well, the practicum is a very important part of our teacher education program. And it really refers to doing that, uh, spending time in a classroom, in schools, in a K-12 classroom, learning alongside teachers and children and youth. Practicums provide the opportunity to place academic work in the context of a practical school setting. Now we have some international practical um, practicum settings or programs um, in Thailand and Germany, but uh, more on that in just a moment. We also have a number of other programs, including programs for teachers who've been certified internationally. We have uh, post-baccalaureate programs. These are programs for teachers 
who are currently working in the profession and want some additional training. And we also have a BA in developmental studies and a master's in marital and family therapy. Now we have some joint programs with Red River, joint B ed programs with Red River. And you may not have thought about these programs or these types of programs previously. We operate these hand in hand with Red River. And what that means is while you're with us, you're also with Red River. So you're actually like a student in two different uh, campuses. We have a program in industrial arts technology and teacher education or business technology education. Again, these are five-year programs attend both Red River and the University of Winnipeg in each year of the program and you'd end up being um, certified to teach either industrial arts technology or business technology alongside a second subject base on your academic uh, major. We have uh, after degree programs in both of these areas as well. In terms of um, other programs, I don't bring your attention Access Education Programming, the programs that we offer there. Access Education was developed because it has long been recognized that there is an underrepresentation of Aboriginal people, minorities, and other inner city residents in the teaching profession. So the WEC program is uniquely designed. It's a B ed program for mature learners and students from underrepresented or marginalized populations. We also have a KTEP program, which is which is designed to provide Aboriginal educational assistance with the opportunity to complete an education degree while still working as an educational assistant. And then we also have our immigrant teacher education program. So my last highlight before I turn things over is uh, just an opportunity to share a few words about our international practicum opportunities. So the top two pictures are actually pictures from our Thailand program, and our bottom two pictures there are pictures from our Germany program. Um, these are uh, international practicum and teaching opportunities. They're provided to students in their fourth or fifth year of that integrated program I've been talking about, or in the second year of an after degree program. Now, not just anyone can take these programs. They're highly desirable, and you're gonna have to apply. Um, but students who complete these programs really say how life-changing it is for them. Um, as I said, two of our long-standing programs are Thailand and Germany, and we sometimes have programs in other countries as well. Now, obviously, these are all on hiatus right now because of COVID and the pandemic, but hopefully we'll be able to restart these things soon. So I'm going to turn it over now to my Associate Dean, Dr. Leslie Edley Trudeau. Hi there, everyone. Thanks, Dr. Helston. So as Dr. Helston mentioned, I'm the Associate Dean in the Faculty of Education. But prior to coming to the University of Winnipeg, I worked in the kindergarten to grade 12 system for 30 years. I started out as a classroom teacher, but I also worked as a resource teacher and a behavior consultant for students with social emotional learning challenges. In the latter portion of my career, I worked as a principal and an assistant superintendent. And the importance of what I'm sharing today relates to the fact that by choosing education as a career, you are opening up a realm of possibilities and options in this field. Which leads me to the next slide. Education is a career which will allow you to engage with provincial education priorities such as high levels of student achievement in academics, but also focus on areas such as equity, diversity, inclusion, citizenship, sustainability, and well-being. When teaching in Manitoba, and I would add other locations as well, it's important to focus on, on students first and the subject area next. In our province, challenges such as child poverty, the number of children in care of child and family services, the lower graduation rates for diverse learners, those are all important contextual issues that teachers of the future must be aware of and address as critical foundations of student learning. And this will be no easy task. Which brings me to my next slide. What I will conclude with is that despite the challenges that I noted, education is a career that offers much hope and possibility in the future. If you are an individual 
who cares about making a difference in the world. And I believe the classroom empowers you to share your knowledge, your skills, your energy, and your enthusiasm in a very exponential way. Not once, but possibly 30 to 150 times each day, depending on what level you teach at. So on that note, I wish you the best in your exploration and deliberations today as you do the important work to discern your future career path. And we're going to hear more from Sherry Lynn and a student and our advisor to tell you about that. Hi, everyone. I'm Dr. Sherry Lynn Skorchuk, and I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for taking the time to come and see the Faculty of Education booth. I'm a parent of a grade 12 student, and I know what you're going through with trying to figure out what's happening next year with your with your plans. And so I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the early childhood education program that we have here in the Faculty of Education. It's um, under developmental studies in the course calendar. And in this program, what we're doing is focusing on the development of children from ages zero to eight years. Okay, next slide. So um, this is kind of a special program. Uh, it, it is in the Faculty of Education, but actually what you end up getting is a Bachelor of Arts degree. And you can do this in, in many different ways. Uh, you can do a th the three-year Bachelor's of Arts um, degree where you take three years of coursework at the university and you specialize in developmental studies or we have a joint program with the Red River College or St. Boniface, the University of St. Boniface, if you speak French. And what you can end up doing there is you do two years with us and two years with the other institution. And then you end up getting certification from the province in early childhood education. And you get both your level two and your level three certification. So in this, in this department, what you're actually learning about is you're, is you're studying how development affects children, families, and learning. And so um, I already mentioned the optional joint and professional programs. We also have a PACE program where if you just want to come and get certification, you can uh, apply to this professional program. And so you would inquire at the PACE program um, uh, venue. Now, a couple of things to note about our program. Our core courses for developmental studies are at night. And this is by design because a lot of students like to work during the day. Um, so they would get experience working in early childhood education settings or as EAs in, in schools. And then they would come and do their coursework at night. We also have a practicum requirement. And so what we try to do at the end of this degree is we try to put you in a place where you may be likely to um, have employment afterwards. And so we have had a lot of people move into government jobs, work at Red River College, uh, work in some of the community agencies, any place that supports parents, children, and education. For those of you who are interested in education, um, you should also know that if you're doing early years, you can also do a developmental studies minor. That means you can take courses in development and children, and then you can apply that to your education degree. Um, so as I mentioned already, the future employment options um, are, in my opinion, growing. So in, when this degree was first created, the goal was to train early childhood educators for uh, childhood child care centers. But since then, we've learned that we need more people working with in early childhood in terms of having a leadership capacity. And so we've had people work as community support workers, play therapists, and even in government agencies such as the Child and Family Services Department. Um, if you want, the, our advisor's name is listed on the top there, um, P. Alakun at uwinnipeg.ca. And so he can provide you more details about this, um, th this opportunity. Uh, last slide. Next slide. Okay, perfect. 
So I just wanted to show you, you might want to see what an actual classroom looks like in developmental studies. And so the top slide there on the left is a slide that we had um, before COVID where we were all sitting in, in class and um, we actually had some special guests because we try to as much as possible link coursework with actual projects that are happening in the community. Um, you'll see on the bottom right, the bottom left so slide there, we have an outdoor learning classroom uh, called the Langside Learning Commons. And sometimes for uh, education as well, we hold classes outside and that's our classroom right there. And so there you can see that we're actually holding um, a classroom with an Indigenous elder and we're learning about ways to support learning um, off the land in early childhood and also um, in education as well. Um, of course, there's COVID, and uh, so all of our classes, as you have been experiencing them as well, are online. And so this is just an example of one of uh, my online classes. Um, but this was a very special class because um, this was our last class before the winter break. So we had Santa come and uh, participate with us. And everybody's wearing either their pajamas, some holiday gear, or um, um, a, 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 a weird sweater. And so the idea is, is we try, we're try. we trying very hard as a faculty to make learning enjoyable. And so that's just one example of an activity. Um, so the other thing is that uh, we have assignments and activities that are um, based on working with children. And so we're always focusing on the importance of children's play. So I hope that if you're interested in this program, you'll um, contact myself or Praveen Alukun for more information. And now I will turn it over to Megan Nenka, who's going to talk about her experiences as a student in the, in the program, in, in education. Thank you so much, Sherry. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Megan Nenka. I am a history major and English minor in the Faculty of Education. I have a year and a half left of my studies in the integrated program. I, uh, I began my journey uh, working with children uh, as a child care assistant in a, in a, in a child care center and I just immediately loved working with children. I, it grabbed me. I knew that this was what I wanted to do, but it took a little while before I discovered this, like the possibility of working as an EA. So I joined the University of Winnipeg's PACE program got my educational assistant diploma. And from there, once I was in the school setting, I honestly was just blown away by the opportunities that teachers have to spark creativity and curiosity in students. And it was um, while well, I was working with a very enthusiastic first year teacher. And I, I saw the, the really, the amazing age appropriate ways that she brought up challenging topics with students, really important topics like reconciliation, um, anti-racism, climate action. And that was the moment. That's when I knew that this was something that I wanted to do myself. So I applied to the Faculty of Education here at the University of Winnipeg and was so grateful to be accepted. And uh, the integrated program itself has just been an incredible opportunity. I uh, I would highly recommend it. I know that the after degree program is fantastic too, but what I love about the integrated program is that you hit the ground running in year one, you get the opportunity to work in schools with amazing teachers and be inspired by the students right from year one. And so rather than two practicum placements, you have the opportunity to work with up to five different educators in five different settings throughout your program. And uh, the other thing that I am just so grateful for um, being a student here at the U of W is the size of the program means that you really can develop really personal connections. Like you can see, I'm here um, in the home of a professor of mine because we are in a very tight knit bubble. We've been, uh, we, we work together, we collaborate on a number of projects and that's kind of an amazing thing that doesn't necessarily happen in a larger program. 
um, if you can go to the next slide, please, I'll just highlight a little bit of what we've done together. This is our toy box project that uh, Dr. Sherry Lynn Skorchuk headed back in 2017, I believe it was, and she took me onto the project and we've been developing literacy, numeracy and wellness activities for families of children two to eight years old. We're in the process of working on an app. You can see on the right there, these are students um, in purple and green. These are university students, but those who are in other colors are high school students that we've been collaborating with from Sisler and from the Maples Met. So not only am I working with educators and professors as colleagues, I'm getting the chance to work with youth. So I really, I couldn't say more. Uh, well, I could, I could go on, but I, I really just, I love this program. I love the U of W and I just, I really hope to see all of you uh, back on campus. If you decide to come into the U of W, I hope we get to see one another once we're back uh, on campus in the real world. <laughs> but with that, I will turn things over to Megan. Thanks so much. Thank you, Megan. Um, so I'm going to tell you about how to apply to the Faculty of Education. So my name is Megan Michlek. Uh, I am the academic advisor for the integrated program years one to three. Um, and I come from, uh, I'm an alumni of the university. I have a degree in kinesiology and I've also worked in academic and career services before coming over here. Um, so we'll get on to how to apply to the Faculty of Education. So what you need to know. Okay, so this is what you should know if you want to apply to the integrated program right out of high school. So you need to be a high school graduate uh, with at least 30 credit hours, Manitoba high school credits, um, or hold a mature status diploma, and have completed courses required for regular status entry. Um, you must have completed five credit hours at grade 12 level, uh, designated AS or G. Um, now, specifically, this is the really important part of the um, admissions requirements. So you must present standing in either two credit hours, two, sorry, two credits of English 40A or S, so two English courses in grade 12, plus one credit of math. So it can be pre-calculus, applied, or essential. That is one way. The other way is to have one credit hour of English, but then have uh, pre-calculus um, math. Um, now, um, also what they look at when you're um, applying is looking at the average uh, of your uh, high school credits. So they calculate it using the student's best three 40s courses from the list of approved grade 12 courses. This information, the list of approved courses is on our website. Um, the grade 12 courses must include at least one of English uh, 40A or S or two credits, um, applied mathematics or pre-calculus math. Now what happens um, when you're in grade 12, let's say you're sitting right now in front of me on the computer and you're saying, I don't have the right math. Oh no, I don't meet the entrance requirements. But you meet the regular entrance requirements to the University of Winnipeg. You're gonna apply as a regular student come in for the first year of university, and then you get the opportunity, if you want to come into the integrated program, to be a transfer student. So you can transfer um, into the program up to 42 credit hours uh, of university credit. Um, so don't panic if you're sitting here right now going, oh, I wanted to apply to education, but I didn't take the right courses in grade 12. Not a problem. Um, on top of that, if you're not sure if you want to come into education, but you're just still thinking about it, we also have the two-year after-degree program. So you can come into the university first, you can do your one degree first, and then you can come into the after-degree program. Okay. Um, for the trans going back to the transfer pro program, um, when you come into the university, you take your first year, and then uh, there is an application process. And what they're looking for when you transfer in is to have relevant uh, experience, either work experience or volunteer experience. Um, and you must have a minimum of, of at least a 2.0 on courses completed at the point of the application. And then you must have good standing for your academic status. Now, uh, all this information can be found on the University of Winnipeg website. So you can actually go to 
and we can put this in the chat for you actually if you'd like. Um, it's www.uwinnipeg.ca slash education. All the information about our program, admission requirements, our transfer program, um, our after degree program, and all the other ones um, that the Dean has talked about today are all found on our website. Plus, we have a booth uh, that you can go into after the presentation, come ask us questions about it, we can help you out a bit. Um, and then we'll definitely give you some context, such as myself. Uh, you can come in and talk to me um, in the booth. I will be over there after. And then um, I, will, I can give you uh, my email if needed after. Um, and then when you apply, I think one of the confusing things that people, some of the students have on the application is, well, I don't know what major or minor, I don't even know what that is. I don't know what to pick. Um, so your major is related to your uh, arts degree, your science degree. It's really what you're specializing in for your degree. Um, some people have no idea what they want to do when they come in, and that is okay. You can pick an undecided for now, and then we, we will decide once you come and meet me in the program, if you're in the integrated program. Um, and some people don't, uh, you know, we want to know elementary, high school, who do I want to teach? And sometimes we haven't quite decided. Um, you can also change your mind once you get into the program. So don't fret about that part of it when you're applying. Um, we can we can uh, talk that through and help and just help get you to that decision together. Um, if you have any questions um, and you don't know what, where to go after this presentation and it's come to you, uh, you know, tomorrow, and you need to ask a question, you can email education at uwinnipeg.ca. Uh, and then we'll be happy to answer your questions and refer you to the right person. And uh, I hope to see you in the future. Uh, thanks for coming to our presentation today. It has stopped recording. <laughs>